And hey there folks, this is Omega here. And welcome to our first look for uh, Xenoclash 2. I was going to give you guys a little bit of info before we get into the game itself. Uh, you got the game being published by Atlas. And the team that's behind it is called Ace Team. Uh, I don't know if they were the one that made the first one. I'm pretty sure they were. But uh, anyways, you can find the game on PlayStation Network uh, for about $14.99. It's also on Xbox Live and PC, or Steam actually. Uh, Steam I think is a little bit cheaper, I think you can find it for 9 bucks. Uh, I think Xbox Live is about the same price, I don't know what their their currency is, but <laughs> it goes into about probably the same price, $14.99. But anyways, uh, Xenoclash 2 is a game that actually uh, came out for PC before it actually came out for the consoles here. Uh, the first one actually came out a few years back, so it's been a while. And the game itself, uh, Zero Clash, or actually came out for Xbox maybe like last year or something. So, uh, you know, those guys who played it on PC and Xbox, that's probably, you know, know the story and whatnot. But uh, that's the only thing I really dislike about the game itself is, you know, without a part one, we kind of just get sprinkles of what happened in part one. And they kind of just throw it in there a bit, and you're kind of like scratching your head, you're like, what the heck is going on? But anyways, uh, gameplay-wise, it's it's a little weird. Uh, it's kind of like Dead uh, Dead Island, <laughs> and uh, you're think you're looking at you know uh, your melee attacks, you know punches, kicks, you know melee types of weapons like you know hammers, and you know just all that. So. Uh, it's all up close. You do get different types of weapons, but you know they once they run out, you actually just toss them on the ground, and you know unless you find more bullets for them, which is kind of scary, anyway. But you know the game itself, it's weird. I mean, when you pop it in already, you're looking at it, you're like, these characters just looks weird, and you have father, and mother, <laughs> and all that, and you know. And the voice acting is a little, little off a bit. I, I just want to say, just, it just, yeah, the voice acting is not that great. But like I said, like the biggest part of the game is actually just the gameplay itself. And like I said, melee, you know, punches and kicks. You know, you have to uh, press square to, or L1, R1. Uh, L1 is actually to use your left uh, hand. R1 is to use your right hand. Holding it, it's like a charge attack. And uh, pressing both of them at the same time actually does the special. So, uh, if you look in the left side, uh, upper left, you actually see your health, and then your like a, your special bar is a yellow one, and then you have your uh, stamina bar in the bottom one. So, once you run out of stamina, you pretty much the screen turns all white, and then you kind of just you know become slower, and you can't move as fast, you can't punch. So you're kind of just dazed a bit, but uh, once it comes back, it kind of goes back to normal. So you kind of, once you get into the battle, you kind of have to watch out for, you know, what you're doing. You can't just start spamming your attacks and then hopefully you'll hit him, but uh, you kind of have to, like, sparse your attacks out more so you don't run out of stamina. You kind of, you know, attack him a bit and then kind of step back and wait for your stamina to build. It's kind of uh, the other thing is Probably using your uh, long-range weapons. You do get a few of them in there. To be here uh, you get like a shotgun type. Or as far as I have, I think I played about two hours, two and a half hours maybe. I've gotten a like uh, a gun, just a normal handgun type weapon, a shotgun, a grenade launcher, and a gun that shoots pebbles. <laughs> so, uh, but. You know, like I said, once you run out of ammo, this pretty much becomes useless. You just toss it away. Ammo in the gun itself, there's only maybe like a few, you know, bullets or whatever you want to call them. Hey, I'm going to call them, I'm just go am ammunition. There's only a few of them in there. Like, this is a gun that has like four or five, uh, you know, ammunition in there. And that's it. So, uh, a lot of the time, you're going to be using your, your weapons and then just toss them to the ground. Uh, your melee weapons do break. You do get a chain that, you know, you wrap around your hands. You get that early on. That one doesn't break, so that one you, you, you can always keep. Uh, there's, you know, just feel a little weapons, but most of the time you're going to be doing your, your fighting, you know, hand-to-hand. -hand. So, uh, I do feel like the game itself, or control-wise, it's a little bit tough, you know, to gauge where the enemies are uh, in front of you. 
Uh, when I played it on, uh, or at least the first one on PC, it wasn't too bad. I was able to do pretty decent with the uh, the range from uh, youth and the enemy, but uh, in the, the PS3 version here, or at least Xenoclash 2, I do I do have a little bit of problem, you know, gauging how far the enemies are, and you know, you're just kind of spamming it. <laughs> you're just spamming it, and you're hopefully you hit, and you know, like I said, you can't spam your attacks because you do run on stamina, but uh, once you get into battle, you actually have uh, your uh, your partners that can help you too. You have different uh, partners you can get throughout the game, and they all correspond to like your family kind of. Uh, you kind of go around and recruit them and whatnot, and you could replace them here and there. So uh, once you get into battle, it actually goes, go, you know, the screen actually pops up and it says this versus this, and then uh, you know you get to choose your your partners, and then you know if they get injured uh, to, or too injured from the first fight or the, the previous fight, you actually you know I uh, have to you know let them rest. So. If you get to a, a fight and three against one, it's just not that great, <laughs> not the fun of a time to do. Uh, the world itself, as you can tell, it's it's a little weird. The the character models are weird. You know, it's just a really I, that's all I can say. It's just a weird, weird, weird world they're they're in, and uh, all of the character models, all the your uh, environment, all that. Just looks weird. That's all I could, I could put that. That's the only thing I could describe the game itself. It's really weird. Uh, it's kind of an open world type, of, uh, you know, environment. So you could go from. It has different uh, areas, but each one leads up to a different area. But you could kind of go to this one. You kind of go to uh, like maybe the wooded area, or you kind of kind of go to like on the beach or something like that. Like, uh, but. Uh, most of the time, you know, each, each place is kind of, you know, just a little walk through like a town or something and then, you know, it opens up into like a, a wooded area or, uh, you know, just a different place and then, you know, you have your waypoints that, you know, are given to you all around so, uh, you won't be lost unless you find yourself, I don't know, like a broken game or something but, uh, anyways, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video here. Like I said, it is on the PlayStation Network Store and uh, Xbox Live and PC uh, for about $14.99 for both of them, uh, at least uh, PlayStation Network and Xbox Live. But on PC itself, it's I'm pretty sure you can probably get it for Let's get about $9.99. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you, buddy, next time. This is Omega Bell, and I'll see you